Well, hello there, Taurus. How are you? It's so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Um, if it's your new first time to the channel and you're new, welcome. We're so glad that you're here. Um, so today I am doing your July career and money tarot reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the um, tarot for more details. If you're in, uh, enjoying the content that I create, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. Okay. Hey, let's get into this let's see what we have rhino spirit overcome any obstacle yeah just you know a lovely sense of just nothing is going to stop you in <laughs> your career and money sector you're you're not taking no for an answer <laughs> you're um yeah you're you're making things happen you know for yourself it's kind of like stepping into your power and making things happen for yourself. So we're going to first um, look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards here, and then I'll come back and clarify with the Tarot. So let's take a look at your present energy, true love. You know, this is the energy of you loving yourself, making decisions, wanting to get up in the morning, look yourself in the mirror and be really, um, you know, a sense of loving yourself, being proud of yourself, of what you you are accomplishing in your life, you know, your financial stability, what you're creating, a business that you're starting. It's kind of like, yeah, I have this within me. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Really lovely energy, very powerful. Overcoming, you have victim mentality on the back on the bottom. So I feel like you may be trying to overcome some victim mentality, understanding that you are the only thing that's stopping you from um, manifesting what it is that you're wanting in your tangible life. Really nice. Okay, your obstacle is decrease. Yeah. And you know, this is a sense of it could be a decrease of anything, you know. Not that many opportunities, <laughs> you know, the, the the doors of opportunities are not opening like they were. Um, you're not getting as many new clients as, you know, you thought you might or that you were in the past. Um, you know, it could be actually, you know, you're putting, you're investing more money or time into your project or business, whatever this is, and not, you know, just you're putting out more than what you're getting in. Um, so this is your obstacle at this time. It's what you're kind of like working on. We have creative endeavor on the bottom. So I feel like, you know, this is an energy of putting a lot of time, energy, money into a creative endeavor and perhaps not feeling like it's paying out the way that you want it to. So let's take a look at your strength and see what we have here. Friends and colleagues, yeah. You have a lot of people around you that are supporting you in this. You know, I almost get a sense that the, your friends and colleagues truly believe in you. Um, and it's because you believe in yourself. Like you know this is going to work out. You're having this difficulty at this time, but you're kind of like, that's all right. I know it's going to work out. I have the courage to keep on going. Sure, things aren't working out the way I planned or expected or wanted them to, but things will work out for me. Really lovely energy. Very strong. I'm getting a really strong sense of, you know, empowerment here. So, yeah. Okay, so the energy around you is loss. And since you have this decrease here, I feel as if, you know, there is something that you have lost. Um, it's also a, a little bit of a sense of everybody else has moved on and I'm still stuck here. But we're going to clarify this. I feel like you know that this is only temporary. That you, you know, that life ebbs and flows, just like the ocean, the tides, right? I feel like you, you're you putting it into perspective. You're not allowing this to stop you. Whereas some other people, this energy could perhaps stop them from moving forward, saying, oh no, I, I'm not investing anymore. I'm not giving anymore to this situation. Um, but I feel like you know that it's... It's just the ebb and flow. The fear could be dwelling, you know, welling up inside of you. You could be concerned how long, you know, it's kind of like the tide has gone out and you're kind of like, is it going to come back in? <laughs> you know, there is a little bit of that energy of, okay, has, has my ship sailed and I'm not on it? A little bit of that energy. 
Really interesting. I'm trying to figure out. Somebody else had that. Um, okay, so let's see what your advice is. Dark thoughts. Okay, we're going to, um, this is your advice. So it's it's about an understanding um, that at this time you may have some dark thoughts. Okay, you may be allowing your fears, you know, getting a little bit stuck up in your head, being a little fearful of the situation instead of staying in your heart space, right, about this. Um, you know, I'm also uh, Capricorn had somewhat of a, a similar type of energy. You know, it's really hard, I think, for the earth signs right now. We, we just had a new moon in Cancer yesterday. Um, and that energy will be with us for the next three to five days. It's a very emotional type of energy. We also have a Pluto retrograde. So that's bringing up some, you know, uh, feelings, emotions that, that may be a little difficult. But once again, I'm getting that energy of, okay, it's just here for a little while. It's like the tide has gone out, but you know, at some point the tide is going to come back in. Um, the tide doesn't go out forever. Yeah, because look, we have increase on the bottom. So it is just about understanding that, you know, this is, it, it, it's a decrease. It's a loss, but it's not a permanent loss. Or it's going to, uh, losing something, whatever this is that you've lost, is opening up space for something new that's going to be even better. And then the vast universe. Yeah, this is your outcome. Understanding that, okay, yes, I've lost something, but wow, I'm going in a much bigger direction. Travel. Some of you might actually be moving or um, moving jobs, moving um, careers. A, a, a big sense of moving. Yeah. And it's going to, look at this, it's bringing you a great achievement. Making this move is going to bring you a great achievement. It's almost as if I'm getting, um, I'm going to go back to the doors of opportunity because I think it, it's interesting that they're saying that to me. Um, you may feel like you don't have any doors opening for you right now, and you know, any new avenues. And you're kind of wondering, are all of my opportunities like dried up? Um, but I feel as if the energies around you are helping to bring in a new opportunity. So like if you had some opportunities available at this time you may take those because you're a little bit in this fearful energy you may take one of those because you're just kind of like well I gotta take it because I got nothing else right um but uh the the message is really clear you have a better opportunity becoming available on down the path your job right now is to stay in this optimistic in your heart type of energy, putting your love into what it is that you are creating or trying to create, right? And not allowing the fear to override you because you don't want to start making decisions based on fear. You want to continue making those decisions that are based on what your heart desires um, because there is a better opportunity coming down the path. It's just taking your spirit guides, your angels. I mean, look, you have, you know, um, angels of the four directions. You have the angels, your spirit guides, your deceased loved ones working behind the scenes to bring in this better opportunity. It's just, it's taking a little time. They're, they're having to maneuver some other people, other situations so that this opportunity can come. All they're asking you is to stay in your heart space, to know that you are on the right path, that you are... Um, you know, this is just a blip. Um, once, once you get past this, once the tide comes back in, right? Very optimistic. And I know, you know, at this time you may be kind of fearful, um, because things just are not working your way. Um, you know, your strength is that you do have friends, family, colleagues around you that can help support you, bolster your, your confidence in yourself at this time, perhaps even helping you financially for a little bit until things, you know, come around again for you. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's interesting. They just keep saying the tide will come back in. Okay, so let's take a look at this true love. Seven of swords, seven of cups, the devil, yeah. King of wands on the bottom. You're wanting to take action. You really are. You're, you, there's this energy within you that you're really trying to take action. 
The problem is here is that you're almost confusing yourself. You're holding yourself back because you may have too many options. You're not sure which one to take, or you're like, I don't have any options, which is the best out of these. You know, only I only have say a couple of options, you know, which one of these is the least, <laughs> the least toxic, right? With the devil energy here. Um, yeah, I feel as if there's a little bit of, you know, self-sabotaging yourself. You may, may be getting into this fearful energy, you know, allowing your fears to kind of run away with your decisions instead of staying true to your heart. Go back to your why, you know, why are you doing this? Why did you choose this career? Why did you choose this job? You know, why are you trying to manifest something into your life? Um, go back to your why, because that'll help you to put yourself into your heart space. Um, Taurus, I'm pretty sure that that why is somehow connected to helping the collective in some way or helping to heal other people or, you know, trying to um, put some love and good out into the world, right? I feel like you really do, at the end of the day, you want to feel really good about what you are creating or putting out into the world as far as your career and money sector are concerned. Um, and it's about, yeah, just keep making decisions that are based on your highest good instead of falling prey, okay, with the devil card here, falling prey to making decisions that are kind of like short term decisions that in the end are not really for your highest good. It's allowing yourself the energy of not just making a choice out of fear because your obstacle right now is decrease, you know, understanding that life does ebb and flow, you know, um, and it can be sometimes difficult when it is ebbing, right? <laughs> when things are decreasing, things are not working out as well as you wanted them to, to suddenly feel like, well, then this isn't the path for me at all, you know? kind of throwing the baby out with the bathwater type of energy. Or it could be that you start making decisions based on fear. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, yeah, death. You know, um, an energy of ending decisions um, based on fear. You know, with the two of swords, it's kind of like, I don't know, almost throwing your hands up, almost blocking Oh, I really say almost like blocking opportunities to come in. You've been doing this for some time. I feel like you're kind of blocking. So why are you blocking? Let's, why are you blocking? Because the nine of wands and the two of swords are both kind of like blocking energies, blocking your own independence, blocking um, chariot, the Fool, Knight of Cups, the Sun. Wow, wonderful energy. So why are you blocking this though? I think you're you're uh, there's a little bit of an energy here of blocking it because you're okay Taurus this is going to resonate different for different people but almost an energy of waiting for someone to express their love to bring a situation and it could be a personal situation into balance it's almost this energy of I don't necessarily really want to go forward. I want to go forward. You may be saying you want to go forward, but it's almost this energy of, is somebody going to come back? You know, waiting. A little bit of this waiting on somebody else. But because you're waiting on somebody else, you're actually not, okay? You're allowing this person's energy. Whether it could be a romantic partner, you could be separated from, you know, a romantic partner, you could be, you know, um, I don't, you know, it could be waiting on, um, you know, a business partner, an investor. There's this energy of waiting, of sitting and kind of waiting for somebody else's decision 
Um, but then you're not making choices that are best for you, right? It's kind of like, well, I don't want to go in this new direction if I don't have this person with me or I don't have their support. Um, it's about understanding that you have the power to overcome any obstacle. I feel like you want this person or this situation or it could be you're waiting on money, you know, like from a certain person. And they're, they're, I feel like they're dragging their feet. So you're dragging your feet about being willing to move forward until you put your energy out to the universe that I'm moving forward, even if I have to move forward by myself, right? Um, as long as you're waiting on somebody else, then the universe really isn't going to bring you any new opportunities. Um, and I know you're probably sitting there saying, but Mary Sue, that is the opportunity I'm waiting for. You know, I'm waiting for that person because they can really help me. But I think in, there's a lot of energy here of, you know, w needing, wanting to go by yourself. Okay. Um, but I feel like you're, you're waiting for somebody else to express their support or express their willing to go with you. It's time to take, it's time to get into the chariot, take the reins in your own hands and go forth by yourself if you need to. It's like, don't wait any longer. What are you waiting for? I know moving forward can be scary. That's probably why we have dark thoughts here. You know, this energy of, wow, I really don't want to do this by myself. Um, yeah, I can relate. You know, it, it could be that you, you're looking to take a job in a new city, but you're kind of waiting on a friend or a family member to say, yeah, I'll go with you. And it's kind of like, no. <laughs> if you want to go, Taurus, it's about doing what your heart wants, right? And not, and understanding that other people have free will. They, to allow them to make their choices based on what it is that they want that's best for them. You don't really want somebody to come along if they don't really want to come along, right? So it's kind of like, you know, I have a couple of good friends right now. One of them is actually a Taurus. Um, and she wants to go on a big trip, okay? And she's trying to convince another one of our friends to go on the trip with her. Because um, it's a really big trip. So she'd rather not go by herself, you know. Um, but <laughs> it's so interesting because she is a Taurus. I didn't think about that. Um, but our, our, our mutual friend is kind of like, she has like one excuse after another. And finally, my friend that's a Taurus was kind of like, you know what? I really want to go on this trip. <laughs> so I'm signing up for the trip, you know. I'm going on the trip, even if I have to go by myself. And I was really, you know, kind of proud of her because she, she was like, yeah, this is something I have really wanted to do for a very long time. I'm going on this trip. So very interesting. Yeah. I feel like there's this energy of don't wait on anybody else. It's time to move forward. Okay. So high priestess, two of cups, nine of swords, the world. Yeah. You're, you're deciding Okay, your intuition is giving you information about this other person, two of cups. Business partner, investor, it could be even a friend or a family because we have friends and colleagues here, okay? It's somebody, but they're anxious. I feel like your intuition knows that they're anxious, that they don't, they don't really want to do this with you for whatever reason, you know? And it's kind of like, it's time for you to decide what it is that you want for yourself and not to, not to worry about it, you know, if they really don't want to go, you know. I mean, my friend that's a Taurus that wants to go on the trip and our other friend that's like dragging her feet, saying yes one day, no the next. I was like, are you sure you want to go on a trip with her if, <laughs> you know, she doesn't really um, want to go, right? So, okay, so let's see what we have here. Loss. This is your supporting energy. <laughs> your supporting energy. Fool. 
Yeah, Chariot. Oh my gosh, I love this. Ten of Wands. You're putting down the burden of waiting on this other person. Yes, you are going to feel this loss, but this loss of this person not coming along with you, right? Puts you onto a whole new path full of victory and love. Page of Cups, it, it, it ushers in something so new and exciting. I feel like that's, you know, from the very beginning, I had that energy of, you know, there's no new doors of opportunity showing up, right? Um, however, that resonates because there's something bigger. It's kind of like, yeah, okay, I have to drop the burden of trying to talk this person into doing what it is that I would like for them to do right? And understand that they have free will. Yeah. And take action. Understand. Okay. I, you know, I may have to leave this person behind. I may have to end this relationship, this partnership, this, you know, business partnership, this investor, you know, I may have to just go in a new direction, but that new direction is so full of promise and hope and, you know, abundance. It's a good direction for you, Taurus. Um, it's just, you know, you're jumping off the cliff by yourself. And that can be scary. That can be scary. I think you're doing this on your own. Um, okay, so let's see your advice is dark thoughts, okay? I feel like this is your anxiety, waiting on this person, waiting on, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, the world again. You're entering a whole new life and not to worry about. I think your advice is don't worry about these dark thoughts because if you're making decisions based on the fear of this person not coming with you, you're holding yourself back from all of this because look, you're moving. Okay, I think a lot of you are literally moving. Okay, there is that energy. But you're also moving from turbulent waters into much calmer waters. When, you know, it's almost as if this person is, is uh, it's kind of like annoying they, they don't want to come along. You're, it's almost this energy of, no, I want you to come along. But when you allow them to do what it is that they truly want to do, I think they may say, Taurus, I don't want to do this with you. Okay? I'm sorry. I really like you. I love you. But I don't want to do this with you. Right? You move on. You're like, okay, I got to go on the, the trip by myself. Or I got to find somebody else to go. But look at this, you have the sun and the queen of wands. You gain your confidence in the abundance that you can bring in for yourself. The queen of wands is very independent. You have this energy of needing to be independent at this time, of making this choice for what is truly good for you, what is good in your heart. Um, know, having the confidence to know that you can overcome any obstacle, you know? Um, yeah, it's really kind of... Um, I feel like you're kind of like trying to make this shift as safe as possible for yourself. So you feel like if this person comes along or is supportive in this or whatever, it's kind of like, okay, it's almost like you have a plan B or this person is going to help you. It's like, no, 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 no. You have the sun card twice. You have the justice card. You have the fool card twice. It's like, no, you're taking this by yourself. You're going in this new direction by yourself and you're going to be okay. You really are because the vast universe is opening up for you. I really feel like a lot of you are moving. You've had the world ca card two or three times, um, the chariot card a couple of times, the fool card. I feel like you're picking up and you're moving somewhere new. You really wanted somebody to come along, but they're just kind of like not into it. Okay, it doesn't mean that they don't like you or love you, Taurus, right? It's just kind of like, yeah, just not into it. Uh, strength card, three of cups, four of pentacles, ace of pentacles, new doors open for you. When you have the strength to celebrate yourself and to know that you will be safe with the four of pentacles, you will be safe. The world opens for you. You're just kind of like, yeah, okay, I got to go. I got to go. Wow, really <laughs> lovely energy. I think, you know, there is that anxiety about doing it yourself, you know. Um, there is that anxiety. And it's kind of like, okay, but if I don't do this, right? It's kind of like, if I don't do this, I'm always going to wonder, well, 
What would it have been like if I had done it? You know, go do it. Whatever this is, <laughs> go do it. Life is too short. Life is too short. Go do it. Love is the reason. Each person in your life is there for a reason. And that reason always has something to do with love. Like me, the universe. Yeah, I feel like, you know, there there is this reason of love. I think, you know, you may even love this person that you want to have come forward with you. They're just not into it. They're not into it. You know? I feel as if... Um, he, he, there is some anxiety about why are they not into this? It doesn't matter. Their heart is calling them to do something else. And your heart is calling you in this new direction. And it's a wonderful direction. <laughs> I mean, you have the sun card twice. You, I, I mean, you just have abundance coming out once you decide to make this shift and do it by yourself. You know, you could be trying to start a new business and really wanting like a family member or a good friend to go into business with you. There's more on the journey for you than um, when you allow yourself to do this by yourself. When you say, yeah, I can do this. Because I feel like this is opening you up to something really beautiful with the vast universe, the world card twice. Um, even the cards that you had that were, you know, a little bit, you know, uh, uh, of more of a negative energy. When we clarified them, they're all positive, which means that you're taking whatever may seem negative about the situation at this time and go moving it into a very positive energy, which is so wonderful, Taurus. <laughs> really lovely. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it there. I do do personal mess uh, readings. If you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I really do appreciate all of your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I wish you so much love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.